بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأفضل الصلاة وأتم التسليم على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين سيدي ابن آدم أجمعين محمد بن عبد الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد uh, Today for our 18th lesson Ibn Faris rahmatullahi alayhi he says Ra'u wal wa'u wa dalu mu'adhamu babihi yadullu ala maji'in wa dhahabin min intilaqin fi jihatin wahidatin taqulu rawattuhu ala an yaf'ala kadha idha aradtahu ala fi'lihi um, He's telling us that these three root letters of ra, wa'u and dal that they mean to come and go but with one fixed point so he says, for example, um, I want, I'm going to this person, rawattuhu ala an yaf'ala kadha. Like I'm intending this person so that, intentionally seeking them out so that they can do something. So it's for me to them. He then mentions, qala ba'duhum al iradatu asluha al waw wa hujjatuhum annaka taqulu rawattuhu ala kadha. He even says then that some linguists say that it is the same as what is meant of to want and to will. To want and to will. So this being mentioned 148 times, it brings our sum total of words that we should be able to recognize in the Qur'an, 9,520. And 139 of them is in the past tense form of arada, arada, that he wanted, he willed. So there's a direction from one towards who or whatever it is of the different things that are being uh, um, intended or being directed towards or at. And then eight times we're being told um, Rawada, Rawadu, Rawadu, Rawadu. Um, and then we have here even once as Ruwaida, Ruwaida. So we have here basically the majority of it all being in the past tense form of the verb arada, meaning to, that he intended, that he sought out, and in doing so he willed, he wanted something specific from that object, be it human or inanimate. And Allah Azza wa Jal knows best. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala Muhammad.